Thousands of same-sex couples across nearly a dozen states are making plans to get married after the Supreme Court's order turning away appeals to prohibit same-sex marriage. Yeah, without comment, the justices effectively made gay marriage legal in about 30 states. Fox's Mike Emanuel starts our in-depth coverage tonight. The Supreme Court has turned away appeals from five states seeking to ban same-sex marriage. Some are calling it a major setback. I believe that the people deserve to have this uh, hearing taking place at the Supreme Court level. And while it's a disappointment for some, others say it's a small victory. Same-sex couples in Indiana, Wisconsin, Utah, Oklahoma, and Virginia now have the ability to say their I do's. Same-sex couples in the Commonwealth are entitled to all of the rights and privileges of marriage. The Supreme Court's refusal to take up the case leaves in place a number of lower court rulings, meaning gay and lesbian couples in Kansas, North Carolina, South Carolina, West Virginia, Wyoming, and Colorado should be able to get married soon. Colorado, along with state after state after state after state, will now treat all families with the same dignity, respect, and equality as they deserve. Once same-sex marriage is allowed in those 11 states, it will be legal in 30 states and D.C. At the White House, the Obama administration gave no specific reaction to the court's move, only saying marriage equality is the right thing. A growing majority of Americans already recognize that, a marriage, that marriage equality embodies our American values of fairness under the law. In the wake of the developments, a number of same-sex couples have already started getting married, but others seem to recognize this may not be the end of the legal fight. In fact, a ruling is expected any time now from the Sixth Circuit in the middle of the country, which could uphold states banning same-sex marriage, splitting federal circuits, and giving the Supreme Court a reason to weigh in. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox News. It's interesting. Much more to come, of course. So how does the Supreme Court's non-action impact the GEM state? Are we among the 30 states or so that Trace mentioned that would allow gay marriage benefits? So the answer to that is no, not for now. The Idaho case is waiting for a ruling from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, but the decision is giving those involved in Idaho's battle a little more hope that their day at the altar will soon be honored. I'm anxious to hear a decision, um, and you know, when that decision comes, it's anybody's guess, but I'm just really, we are anxious to hear um, and figure out what the next steps are going to be. If the Ninth Circuit issues a ruling in favor of the plaintiffs, it's possible same-sex marriage in Idaho will become immediately legal. But the state could also still request a stay from the Supreme Court. The Idaho Attorney General responded to the Supreme Court decision today in a written statement saying, the lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of Idaho's marriage law is still pending before the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. The appellate court has also issued a stay pending the decision, meaning Idaho's prohibition on same-sex marriage remains in effect. To date, the state has spent more than $71,000 in taxpayer money fighting the case. Well, within hours of the Supreme Court's decision, the stay on gay marriage in Utah was lifted. And county clerks started issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Utah's governor acknowledged the cultural and legal shift in Utah and the need to uphold the law. I can tell you that I am surprised about this and disappointed. I believe that the people deserve to have this uh, hearing taking place at the Supreme Court level to determine, you know, what is a significant issue of our time. Colorado's Attorney General says once legal formalities are complete, same-sex marriage will be legal in every corner of that state. One bakery is sold out of wedding cakes, all designed today for same-sex marriages. In Pueblo, they've already started issuing same-sex marriage licenses. The Denver clerk and recorder says she's waiting for the official go-ahead. Meanwhile, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker says the fight over gay marriage is over in his state. The Republican governor making this statement after the Supreme Court rejected appeals from those five states, including Wisconsin, to prohibit same-sex marriages. Walker says his position on gay marriage remains the same, but says the fight over the issue is over with the Supreme Court's action. I've said all along that I would support the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin until the federal court said otherwise. I think with the Supreme Court's announcement today, uh, it is clear that the uh, position of the Court of Appeals at the federal level uh, is the law of the land, and we're going to go forward in acting that. So once again, today's rejection paves the way for marriages to start in Wisconsin, Indiana, Oklahoma, Utah, and Virginia.